it's Patrick Hotzel from Intensive Care at Home, where we provide tailor-made solutions for long-term ventilated adults and children with tracheostomies, and where we also provide tailor-made solutions for hospitals and intensive care units, whilst providing quality services for long-term ventilated adults and children and medically complex patients, including BiPAP, CPAP, non-invasively ventilated clients, and also we provide services for home TPN clients, parenteral nutrition. Um, in today's blog post, I want to talk about a question that we had from a reader slash client who says, Mike, my 78 year old mom is currently having trouble being weaned off the ventilator and the tracheostomy. And she has COPD and she's stuck in ICU for the last three months and she's desperate to go home can your service intensive care at home help with that? And uh, the short answer is yes, of course we can help with that. That's our area of expertise. So what happens in ICU, for example, as you've probably already seen, your mum would be stuck in sort of in a vicious cycle. Um, maybe her CO2 is rising when they're trying to wean her off the ventilator, especially with COPD and then she gets sort of knocked back and she needs to go back on the ventilator again. So, and then she probably gets depressed in ICU um, as much as you and your family are probably getting depressed because um, you know, you're probably spending your life in intensive care. You're beholden to, you know, often restrictive visiting hours. Um, and you can probably see your mum isn't really getting a rest in a noisy, busy ICU where you know, patients often struggle to get into a natural day and night rhythm. Maybe you feel like your mom is not getting the attention and the care she needs in a situation like that. Maybe she, there is a high staff turnover. Maybe there's different nurses looking after her every single day, not really getting to know your mom because that's part of, you know, our service intensive care at home. You know, we're trying to create a stable team for our clients. So, you know, you can who can manage the routine that you as a client wants for your mom or that your mom wants, you know. And uh, it's not the first time, you know, where an elderly COPD patient that probably went into ICU didn't share why she went into ICU, but maybe, you know, she went into ICU with type two respiratory failure. Maybe she had a pneumonia. Maybe she had an exacerbation of her COPD, whatever the case may be. Then they spend prolonged time on the ventilator, need a tracheostomy, and then have challenges of getting off the ventilator. And then, you know, people look for solutions because they realize that long term weaning in ICU is just um, not conducive for the recovery of anyone because it's just such a depressing environment. Whereas home at home, it's just uh, so much more patient and uh, family friendly. And also on top of that, from an ICU perspective, you know, an ICU bed costs around five to six thousand dollars per bed day, whereas home care, you know, we can provide the intensive care bed at home for around half of that cost. So it's a win-win situation all around and ICUs need the spare bed. And also, you know, from a healthcare consumer perspective, you know, you'd think that hospitals want to partner with consumers and when you listen to consumers you know um, that's what consumers want they're reaching out to an organization like us saying hey you know ICU is not no longer working for us my mom wants to go home how can we put this into place you know and we certainly can put it in place here at intensive care at home and we will find ICU nurses for you that can continue the care at home for your mom and hopefully wean her off the ventilator at home. I'm not sure whether weaning is possible at all. You know, we would need to understand more about the ins and outs, but certainly um, it is possible for um, for your mom to go home with our service. So I hope that helps. Uh, that's my question answered for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have a loved one in intensive care in a similar situation, whether adult or child, and you want to go home, especially if your loved one or yourself is on a ventilator with a tracheostomy or on BiPAP or CPAP ventilation stuck in a hospital, um, or including home TPN, you should contact us here at intensivecareathome.com. Um, we are currently operating all over Australia, um, and but also in the US, you should contact us if you are in the US as well. 
Um, we operate in all major capital cities in Australia, including regional and remote areas. We also provide NDIS specialist support coordination, but uh, either way, you should uh, contact us at intensivecare.com, call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or send us an email to info at intensivecareathome.com. Also, have a look at our membership for families in intensive care at intensivecaresupport.org. There you have access to me and my team 24 hours a day and we answer all questions, intensive care and intensive care at home related in a membership area and via email. And if you are a critical care nurse watching this with a minimum of two years ICU and pediatric ICU experience, you should contact us as well because we offer, we have jobs in um, Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, um, but also in regional areas such as Warrigal in Victoria, as well as uh, Bendigo. Um, so you should contact us as well. And if you are an intensive care specialist in Australia, we are currently wanting to expand our medical team as well. If you're an ICU consultant that has an interest in what we do, please contact us as well. And if you're watching this and you are at home or your loved one is at home on a ventilator with a tracheosmid but doesn't get the care they need, you're not happy with whatever you've got at the moment, please contact us as well. We can help you either way. And if you need a medical record review, review for your loved one in intensive care, you should contact us as well. We do review medical records in real time, but also after intensive care as well. Uh, and we also provide NDIS nursing assessments. Now, <coughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families in intensive care and intensive care at home. Share the video with your friends and families, click the like button, click the notification bell and comment below what you want to see next or what questions and insights you have from this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecareathome.com and I'll talk to you in a few days. Take care.